DKMS Life Science Lab is the world leader in tissue typing for stem cell donor registries, transplant, and research centers. Swab samples from all over the world are analyzed here to determine HLA genes and other relevant genetic loci. After all, the best possible match between recipient and donor is crucial for the success of stem cell transplants in the treatment of blood cancer. So, what exactly happens at the DKMS Life Science Lab? Every day, between 5,000 and 7,000 samples are delivered to the lab by post and are immediately prepared for automated processing. The barcode containing the identification number of each sample is scanned and documented in the laboratory management software. This facilitates the correct assignment of each sample to its donor, ensuring the pseudonymization of the donor data at the same time. In the next step, 96 samples are placed into a panel, 94 donor samples and two control samples. The swab head is put into the predefined position of the panel and the stick is discarded. This step, like all other sample analysis processes, is being increasingly automated. A solution is added into the wells of the plate. It releases and breaks up human cells. This frees the cell's DNA. The extracted DNA is isolated from other cell components, washed and purified by laboratory robots during several process steps. This is done by adding tiny magnetic beads. The DNA binds itself to their specially coated surface, so it can be transferred to fresh plates using magnetized rods. The purification process ends when the bond between the DNA and the magnetic beads is broken by a special solution, and the beads are removed. What remains is the pure DNA of the individual sample. This is when the actual analysis begins. Characterizing the genetic makeup of stem cell donors, commonly referred to as typing, requires the determination of their HLA types. Exactly these sections are now copied and analyzed using state-of-the-art technologies. In addition to the conventional HLA typing described before, other HLA gene loci, the blood group systems ABO and RHD, as well as a special mutation on the CCR5 gene are also analyzed. Furthermore, the complex gene family KIR is also included in the typing process in the DKMS High Throughput Laboratory. Donor DNA, which has been extracted and purified, is mixed with reagents containing DNA building blocks, DNA copying enzymes, and primers. Primers are molecules marking the start and endpoints of the copying process, which helps to isolate the regions from the DNA needed for typing. In addition, the reagents contain MIDs, molecular identifiers. MIDs are artificial DNA strands whose exact composition is known. Like a barcode, they mark the DNA sections of each individual donor and enable the clear assignment of the analysis results to an individual donor. The next step is the polymerase chain reaction, in short PCR. This involves making copies of DNA segments until several millions of identical DNA sequences are generated, each being a copy of one of the segments of interest. Up to this point, extreme care has been taken to make sure the different donor samples didn't get mixed up. But now, thanks to MIDs, all the various HLA gene loci of a donor can be pipetted together. In fact, within the next step, the samples of all HLA gene loci from 384 donors are pooled together in a single well on the plate. This process is called pooling.
During the final step, a total of 7,680 donors are included. That means 20 pools of 20 plates containing all HLA gene sections, plus the additional markers of the respective donor are contained in a single tube. This is the preparation for the decisive run in the high-performance sequencer, the technological heart of the DKMS Life Science Lab. It can process two of these 7,680 sample pools at the same time. Thanks to the highly automated efficient processes, samples from over 100,000 donors are genotyped by DKMS Life Science Lab every month. The high-performance sequencer carries out the DNA sequencing. This means the sequence of the DNA building blocks adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine and the amplified DNA strands are read out by the machine. This enables experts to determine the precise individual HLA characteristics of each donor. The sequencing is done in several steps. The necessary reactions take place on the surface of a flow cell. Its tiny nano holes contain special primers to which the DNA sections of the donors attach themselves and multiply. In this way, clusters are formed with bundles of copies of a given section of DNA. Then the actual sequencing begins. The matching, color-coded DNA building blocks attach themselves to the individual strands. Laser light is used to read the position and color on the flow cell and analyze which DNA building blocks have attached themselves to which strands. This process is repeated until the complete DNA segments are read out. At the end of each sequencing run, the raw data of the HLA gene loci of 15,360 donors as sequences of A, G, T, C are simultaneously available for data processing. With the implementation of modern high-throughput technology, DKMS Life Science Lab has substantially improved HLA typing. While in 2013 about 360,000 samples were processed annually, the number rose to over 100,000 donors per month or over 1 million on an annual basis in 2016. Currently more than 1.3 million donor typings take place each year. The NovaSeq sequencer supplies the raw data, which is converted into final typings utilizing analysis software called NextType. Using the MID, the result of each individual sample is assigned to its donor ID in the system. Finally, the data specialists at the DKMS Life Science Lab, biologists and molecular biologists, check the evaluation results, release those deemed to be accurate, and flag those with ambiguities or errors for repetition through the entire workflow. The typing results are automatically sent to DKMS via interfaces. From there, the results are also transmitted to Germany's Central Bone Marrow Donor Registry in Ulm, to the DKMS Registry in Tübingen, and to the National Marrow Donor Program in the USA. Furthermore, all search-relevant data are also registered with the World Marrow Donor Association, the international database for stem cell donors. From this point on, the new DKMS donor is available for the worldwide search for blood cancer patients.